Hello everyone, Mr. Merkic here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create an intro screen for your game. Uh, again this is going to be simple following the main menu and we're just going to have a loading effect and some text and loading and you can, like I'm just going to show you a basic way and then once you know how to do it then you can use your creativity in like making something nice. Um, so online I, I found a loading effect prefab and I believe it was from One Man Army uh the guy who makes a few games from unity so credit to him for making this and uh i'll put a download link or a link for it in the description if you want to get it and um so we're going to be using this and again for the intro screen we're going to create a new scene and uh again if we go to the main camera here on the scene view um i'm again i'm going to create another pane uh a plane even, sorry. And if I put that back to minus 90 and drag it back a bit again, I'm going to use the same material and the same directional light so the, so the game is similar. And we're literally going to get the loading effect. Take the prefab and just drag it in. So if we click play, oh sorry, um got to click load in here in the side in the editor as you can see we've got this like loading effect now it does look di it it does look some like different it's just the background i've got and the light i've got on it but for now we're going to go with this and this is editable i believe like you can change the speed of it um the textures so if you want your own textures you can it's just basically the script that you need and stuff to tell it what to do um, but yeah, it's a pretty nice feature. So if you want to see that again, I'm just going to create some text here, like above here and below here. And the way we do this, we click uh, Game Object, Create Other, and uh, we need to get a GUI text. Now in the editor, this is the actual text, and I'm just going to get some, say, in loading with a dot 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 ellipsis and. Again, you can use this here and just if we go in the game view actually so we can actually see where we're moving it roughly in the middle so let's check this right, so it needs to go to the left a bit more uh, four seven I believe that is the middle no if we go one more to four eight and I'll bring it down slightly all that's up. See, it's like just like customization, really. You need to get it how you want it. Uh, if I just bring this to 485, see, as you can see, we've got the loading screen, and I'll just get another bit of text. If I duplicate this, and I'll change this text to this game is, I don't know, this game is current the in development and then if I get this text now drag it about there and I'll pull it up about to there let's see oh we need to yeah so you see the idea of what you need to do it's just all about perfecting it and getting it how you want it but for example, say if we just wanted that, um, again, before I carry on, before I forget, you need to add this scene. We just got to save this, and I'll call this uh, intro. You don't have to have this, I just think it's a pretty cool feature. Um, so, for example, this now, so we need a script. If you come into your scripts folder, and, well, should have clicked that, create a new JavaScript and call this intro open this up mono develop um, so all we need in this is the start function because we only need to do something once um, so we come down in here we're literally we like what I'm going to do is I'm going to type yield wait for seconds 
like that. And however long you want it on your screen for, I'm just going to say 10 seconds. And then application dot load level game. And I forgot to put that in speech speech mark. Um, the reason I put the wait for seconds, like if if I didn't have that, it will just load the game straight away, and we wouldn't even see the screen. You wait for seconds, it will show the screen for ten seconds, and load the game. So we save that. I'm going to drag that into my main camera and that will be that but I just want to go back into or oh, we could do it from here actually if we go back in the main menu script we no longer want it to load game we want it to load intro now so I think that should work so we just click play if we wait for 10 seconds wait for 10 seconds here should switch to our game there we go and if you want to see it in full if I open uh, open scene open the main menu scene up and just click save our intro screen uh, click play on here if we click start game you see it's giving us the loading screen now and then after 10 seconds it will load our game and you can just use your imagination now create this as good as you want um so yeah if you did like this uh please be sure to like and comment and i'll see you next time